So that's it. Uh, that's it for the wipers. So that went pretty easy. I actually thought that was going to be harder than it was, but it actually went uh, pretty easy. All right, today uh, we're working on the little shaft that the uh, wiper blades uh, connect to, the wiper arm connects to. So I've already took the dash apart. Um, this is the new piece right here. And what is happening, you see those little splines on there? They have ward smooth. And that's it right there. That's what we're replacing is that little shaft that's on the outside right there. And the wiper arm, which is right here, connects to that. And what had happened is on the old one, the splines have worn smooth. So when I would turn the wipers on, the, the arm would wiggle a little bit. Uh, and uh, I was worried that if I get in the snow or the ice, that I would have a problem. So uh, as you can see, I took the dash apart and there is, let me see, there's the, that's the old one right there, if you guys can see it. And uh, all I gotta do is take those bolts out the um here put this in there like that and the rod sits on there like that and it's just a little plastic cap that uh, just pops off um let's see oh <laughs> this little piece right here is two hundred dollars at peterbilt the arm because i wanted to put a new arm on because i was worried about the the, the, the shaft being worn wider than it should be the hole being worn um this <laughs> One of these arms right here is $80. So we're gonna save a little bit of money and do it ourselves. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go outside and uh, go ahead and, oh, I think my battery died on the light, and go ahead and undo the bolts and take that old shaft out. So let me do that and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, we got the old one out. Hopefully it'll show up. But you can see how this is smooth right there. So this is the old one. You see how that's smooth and then the new one you see the the splines right there so so uh so we got it out you can see the hole right there so the next thing we're going to do is put the new one in tighten it up now these are self-threading uh screws that they use so i've already run them through the new one uh, i've already ran it through the new one so it'd be a lot easier to put it on while uh, I'm holding it instead of trying to thread it and hold it and everything. So what I had to do is I got the window down, open the door, stick my arm around, and I can hold it from that side and then put it in. So, all right. So let me hook it back up. And uh, then we just got to realign everything and get all the wiper blades lined up. And we'll put the new arm on and everything else. So talk to you in a bit. Okay. We got... The new shaft on right there and we got the linkage hooked back up right here it was a little bit it's a little bit of a chore getting those uh, on and off uh, i'm always afraid of breaking something you have to pry them off but let's see here i think so everything's working down there you can see and then that's the motor right there so one motor controls both wipers so you can see right there so the next thing is um i did have to take this is the duct for the defroster and it goes in here something like that so i do have to put that back in but that's fairly easy all right let me get the dash put back together put the little de defroster duct back on uh and then we'll go out and uh, hook up the uh, wiper blades and everything and then uh, we'll take one last look at it all right it's a little windy out here but uh, I'll try to show you so this is the old one you can see how it's all smooth right around there and it, it should have some little splines and this is the old the old arm so what would happen is it would go in there and it would spin like that even with the nut on it and I would get a little bit of movement when I would use the, uh, the wipers so the new one has splines on there and then we're gonna use it I bought a brand new arm we're gonna put the new arm on because I'm afraid that this hole is uh, wallowed out a little bit and that it might not uh, it might do the same thing so we bought a brand new arm so let me get the new arm on and uh, we'll be done 
All right, we got the uh, wipers arms on. You can see right there, I've already given it a, a test squirt. But, uh, everything looks good. It's not touching the bottom down. You see the bottom edge of the window? So it's not touching the bottom. And then it's not touching the edge up here either. So we got them centered pretty good. Same with that one. So uh, I think be in pretty good shape there we go so that's it uh that's it for the wipers so that went pretty easy i actually thought that was going to be harder than it was but it actually went uh pretty easy the hardest thing was getting those little caps off of the uh the old piece i was afraid of breaking the plastic and then i'd have to make a trip down to peterbilt get some more um the next thing we're gonna do i bought some fuel filters uh, I had to replace the uh, little cap on the power steering fluid. That was pretty simple. Nothing crazy on that. Um, next thing I'm going to do is my little Ford Ranger that I bought. Uh, I got a check engine light. So uh, I have a little code reader. So I'm going to get that little code reader out. I have a feeling I know what the problem is. And um, we're going to see what's wrong with that. I might end up cleaning the little, uh, I think it's the mass airflow sensor. I think that's what the problem is. So uh, we'll do that next. Okay, we're in the little Ford Ranger. So I, I sold my Mustang. Uh, I wanted something that I can use to uh, haul stuff around. Uh, I had fun with the Mustang. I'll have fun with this for a while and I'll sell it and buy something else. But um, I did buy this and then the in check engine light came on. This is a 2004, so it doesn't scare me. It's an older truck. It's got a lot of miles on it. Uh, but I bought or bought this a while ago because the Mustang, and I can use this on any of my vehicles. Actually, I can plug this thing into the truck. I have the adapter to plug this in the truck. This is called Blue Driver. It uses Bluetooth. It plugs into the data port of the, the car, uh, truck, and uh, it uses a app online or an app on your phone through Bluetooth uh, to read the code. So I'm going to plug it in, and we'll get the connected um the app it, it, it's about a hundred dollars it's actually uh really I, I really like it uh it will read some of the codes on the peterbilt uh but it won't read a lot of the engine codes it reads kind of the chassis codes if that makes sense uh let's see here so let's get it hooked up and going i'm gonna turn the ignition on so we'll find out what the what it, it, it um it uh oh sorry about that turn the radio off um it was having a hard start and a rough idle um so uh i have a feeling it's it's one of the sensors these the mass dose the mass airflow sensor or the uh, throttle um let's see here so we're connected and it uses an app on the phone let's uh let's read the codes and see what it says all right uh one code pending um let's see here what it says and then it will go online and give you recommendations when it reads the code number to um uh, so it says this code is caught uh this code is common on 2004 Ford Rangers. Um, let's see, it's code P1120. Um, let's see. Let's see. Replaced. Uh, one of the top fixes is replaced throttle position sensor. Uh, clean throttle body. Um, perform throttle body cleaning. So I had a idea. That's probably what it was. It was something to do with those. Uh, clean idle air control valve. Um, replace mass flow sensor. So like I said, it, it's one of those things. So uh, so anyway, uh, we'll clear the code out. Start it up and see if it does it again. Because you can clear codes on this. So let's, uh, since we know what it is, go ahead and clear it. And... We'll clear all codes out of the car. Let's see here. So this might take a second. Hang on. 
Okay, all the codes are clear. Let's start it up and uh, no check engine light. So when I came home, I, I started it and I had the problem. Uh, I've driven around a little bit and I haven't had too many problems, but I did buy some throttle body air intake cleaner stuff. So uh, I might just go ahead and take the time and uh, clean it. So uh, let's go take a look at the motor real quick. All right, it's a little windy out here, but let's take a look. Um, so uh, this is the mast airflow sensor right here. Uh, this is the throttle position sensor right here. So one of those is most likely dirty. I have a feeling it's the mass, uh, the airflow sensor over there. But uh, no, nah, this is my little truck. 2004, uh, it's got about, I think it's got 113,000 miles on it. It's got a V6 in it, cruise control. Uh, somebody had it as a work truck, so it's, it's a little beat up, a little banged up, but uh, got a pretty good deal on it. So uh, I kind of like it. I've had, uh, I've had several Rangers. It's got a couple little paint issues on there. But uh, I had a couple little Rangers over uh, over the t my time, and uh, I really like them. So, all right, um, the uh, the battery on my camera is about dead. Plus, it's windy out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mess with this a little bit, and uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching.